protectron. I always have trouble with that word. A protectron model. This has different uh, subjects. So this was like um, medical observation. And it just goes through them like subject A22 was a 34-year-old male convicted of serial killings in the D.C. area. Not to be visited alone, security personnel required for all interviews. A22 shows higher brain function but weak constitution. We've been giving him a high-protein diet and started sessions of electrotherapy to treat his muscles. It shouldn't be long until his brain survival rate for the procedure is no longer a risk. Subject A53 was a 48-year-old female, convicted for arson, burned down a courthouse leaving three dead, only approach when sedated. Family medical history of dementia, brain health is likely to decline or skew data. Recommended for termination. A57 was a 22-year-old female, Convicted for murder of a waitress, prone to sudden outbursts of violence, recommend subject be restrained at all times or sedated. Highly emotional. Currently on a cocktail of antidepressants and anti-anxiety. Dr. Asselford is starting psychiatric sessions to further see if she's a good candidate. Subject A72 was a 32-year-old male convicted of second-degree murder while under the influence of alcohol. Subject displays high intelligence and knowledge of tactics, slight signs of PTSD. Dr. Asselford to evaluate for treatment. Subject A88 was a 33-year-old female, ex-military, convicted of second-degree manslaughter, Assault resulting in hospitalization and later death of the victim. Subject is highly intelligent and proved to be mentally sound. Approved for candidacy. Interesting.